Hello, and welcome to my presentation on selection in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. Today we will be using a population of sea turtles in order to demonstrate the principles of this equilibrium. So here we can see the phenotypes of the sea turtles, which are smooth, squiggly, and checkerboards in the segmentation of their shells. These are the alleles that correspond to these phenotypes, and this is the gene frequency of the overall population. So we can see that these sea turtles here make up a population of 20, and we can count their phenotypes and the corresponding genotypes. Now, does it match the hardy weichwern equilibrium? So we can take the genotypes, and then we can use the uh, hardy weinberg equation and the expected allele of frequency times the total number of turtles, and we can find the expected number. We can take the observed minus the expected, which is zero for all of them, and then use it in this equation here. Now we can use the find the degrees of freedom by subtracting alleles from genotypes, which is, resolves down to one, to find the critical value, which is using the degrees of freedom in the chi chart for 5% and we find the number 3.84. Now, the conclusion we can reach by this is that the population matches the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium because zero is less than 3.84. Now, what if we add a selective pressure to knock off the uh, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium's balance? So here we can see the relative fitness of each phenotype versus predatory birds. As we can see, smooth has a survival advantage, while checkerboard and squiggly will be preyed upon. So here is the initial frequency and the fitness, and we can multiply them together to find the unadjusted survivor numbers. And then we can use the average uh, fitness of the population and uh, use it to divide the unadjusted survivors to find the relative frequency after adjustment. Now looking at these numbers, we can see that the smooth shelled increased in number quite a bit compared to the squiggly and checkerboard, who both lo lost numbers. So when we talk about the future of the population, we can predict that smooth shell will increase in number, but also that the alleles for A will start to crowd out the alleles for B over time, and we'll see smooth as the most amount checkered board as the second most amount, and squiggly become more and more rare over time. These are my references, and thank you for listening to this presentation.